Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of What in the Heck is Going On in Jackson's Life. About a week and a half ago, I had right inguinal hernia repair surgery and in today's YouTube video, I'm going to be outlining just exactly what went down the day of surgery and the days directly following the surgery and kind of what the recovery process looked like and basically what's going on with me now about a week and a half after the surgery. First things first, if you are new here or you are not subscribed currently to the channel, please feel free to subscribe, help support me and my channel and go check out my other social channels as well. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, um, pretty much wherever if you just search up Jackson Ryan Fitness on any of those associated platforms. Let's get into today's video. So the day of the surgery, um, I was extremely nervous going into surgery, not because of like the fear of being kind of sore afterwards, but more of like, this was my first time getting a major surgery and I was kind of anxious as to what was going to happen with the whole anesthesia process because I get really anxious when I don't know what's going on. So I was kind of worried about that. I, I remember going into the surgery, um, I was in the waiting room and then they called me back and then the nurse had to like take my vitals, um, get my height, my weight, uh, check my blood pressure, heart rate, all that kind of stuff. And my blood pressure was extremely high. And she was like, are you nervous? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, really nervous. She's like, yeah, I can tell you seem like you're pretty in shape, but your blood pressure says that you're like hypertensive. And I was like, oh gosh. I got checked in. Uh, when I got into my hospital room, the nurse gave me a gown to change into. She gave me an antibacterial wipe that I had to use to wipe my entire body clean, basically just prepping my body for the surgery. And then once I was fully changed into my hospital attire, the nurse then put the IV in and I was ready to go. The only thing I had to do was wait until the actual surgery time. For the surgery, the surgeon and um, a medical student came in and kind of told me what to expect from the procedure. Um, the anesthesiologist came in and kind of ex explained what was going to happen with that. Um, he kind of calmed my nerves, eased me um, a little bit because that was the part that I was really anxious about. Well, then it was time for the surgery. Um, I went into the surgery room. I remember being wheeled into the room on the bed uh, by another nurse. Um, and we were just kind of chit-chatting uh, about the surgery process and all that kind of stuff. And she was giving me words of assurance and stuff like that because she heard that it was my first surgery. And so then I remember being laid on the surgery table. It was a really weird room. <laughs> it was, everything was like white. Everything seemed super sterile, which is, I guess is a good thing. Um, and I saw the big robot that they were going to use to, to do the surgery, which was, that was kind of freaky, but it was it was an interesting process and so then they they put me on the, the surgery table i was under this big bright light and the anesthesiologist pretty much told me um you know you're gonna start feeling some medicine being pumped in and then you won't really remember anything i was like okay here it goes and i started taking some deep breaths saying some prayers and then the next thing i know i i wake up and i'm in the the recovery room i was really loopy <laughs> apparently i was really talkative i don't remember like as i was coming back i don't remember a whole lot um my mom took a few videos of me um coming up off of the anesthesia and i'll play them right now for you we go into the surgery room and then they yeah, there was music in the background do you remember what song no, it was pretty subtle. I'm turning, I'm sure they cranked it up for surgery. Probably. That's what I, if I was a surgeon, I'd be blasting like some, some like little baby or some future and just like jamming as I'm like dancing as I'm doing my <laughs> surgery. That'd be pretty fun. In my last surgery that I was in. Oh, the weekend I played. Yeah. They played, um. The first, they were playing the first of the month when I walked in there. Yeah. I would have so much fun as a surgeon. But also, I would be pretty scared. But, like, then as I got experience, I would just be like, maybe some Michael Jackson. And then I would just be, like, shaking my butt as I'm, like, cutting into people. But I'd be good at it. I wouldn't hurt anybody. 
I kind of was coming down from the anesthesia. I had to pee. The doctor made me, uh, the nurse said that I had to be able to pee before I left. And so I actually had to pee. And so then I got out of bed um, and went, walked to the restroom and used the restroom and no problems whatsoever with that and then came back. So I wasn't in any pain at this point. I was still kind of a little loopy from the, the anesthesia and also they had numbed my entire abdomen. So it was a really weird feeling. I could definitely feel that something was like off, like it felt off. Um, and my stomach was entirely bandaged up as well. So everything was completely numb. So that was a good thing because I'm sure it would be very painful if it wasn't. Um, but then they wheeled me out um, to the car and then headed back home and where I sat on the couch and did nothing for the rest of the day. So day one was not very bad. Um, I actually got up and walked a good amount with my family because I was feeling pretty good. Obviously, everything was still numb there. Didn't feel any pain or anything like that. It was very strange trying to get up from a seated position because I felt like I didn't have any core strength really. So it was really weird kind of just navigating that kind of thing. I, I did not sleep well that night at all. I just couldn't fall asleep and I couldn't stay asleep for a very long time. It wasn't, there was pain. I think my body was just adjusting from coming off of the anesthesia and um, it wasn't used to like that deep sleep in the middle of the day kind of thing. But I did not sleep well. Um, so I was really tired the next day. But the next day is when the pain started coming on. Um, I felt it really sore in the um, hernia location where it was in the right inguinal area. And then it felt like, like a sharp stabbing pain if I was in the wrong position in my abdomen where the incisions were. Not a pleasant experience to say the least. I tried to get up and walk a little bit, but I was moving a lot slower than I was on day one of the recovery because that that um, nerve block that they had put on was kind of fading off a little bit. So I was starting to feel the pain a little bit, starting to feel the discomfort, and it was really rough. And day three came along, and that was probably the worst day of pain. Um, it was just like constant pain in that area. It wasn't like really sharp, like on a scale of one to 10, it was probably like a five to five or six. Like it was, it was noticeable, but it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but it was just constant. Um, I did not use any uh, opioids or anything like that to recover. I just used extra strength Tylenol and ibuprofen, kind of altered those every four hours um, as recommended by the surgeon, and then just kind of gradually got better and better. After a few days of recovery, I went back to my college campus and um, I took, I didn't have class the first day um, that I came back. But then the next day I had one class in the morning, so I, I went to that. Um, it was kind of rough. I was very sore. I had to sit, um, and it was a very active class, so there's a lot of participation and movement, and I'm actually a personal trainer in the class, so like I couldn't do a whole lot. So I was sitting on a bench pretty much the whole time. Other than that, I took it easy. The first week I tried to get up and walk as frequently as I could because that's recommended by the surgeon. So I was up and moving, um, but other than that, the pain just gradually got better and better um, as I recovered. So the first few days were pretty rough, um, hard to sleep, hard to get into a good position, hard to just function in general, get out of a chair, get out of bed was one of the most challenging things probably. Um, I didn't have much of an appetite at the time, anything like that. But then as the days went on, you know, things started gradually getting better and better. Well, currently. I don't experience any pain. I've been very cautious as to how much I'm lifting. I have a 10 pound lifting restriction. I can't lift any more than like a gallon of milk at a time. It's been rough not being able to go work out um, or anything like that. In terms of body composition, I'm keeping a log of pictures that I'm going to show at the end of this four weeks um, that I'm not allowed to exercise as to kind of the regression my body takes. If it does take any at all, it'll be interesting to see what happens to the body composition after four weeks of absolutely no exercise. So mentally, um, it's a challenge. Um, not being able to exercise as somebody who is very passionate about fitness and knows the importance of regular movement, regular exercise, 
Um, not being able to lift heavy things is kind of annoying uh, throughout the day. I have to keep my backpack really light. Um, I have to be careful when I'm doing laundry not to take large loads. Um, it's just simple activities of daily living that kind of get in the way when you can't lift that amount of weight. But I'm, like I said, I'm trying to recover. I'm trying to bounce back to be stronger than I was before. So um, it's, it's all part of the process, all part of the journey. As for the surgery and the recovery process so far, everything has gone well. There haven't been any complications, which I'm very thankful for, very grateful for, and very blessed to be in the position that I'm in. Um, with that being said, I'm ready to be fully healed up and I'm ready to get back to running at high intensities, lifting at higher intensities. I'm probably not gonna push like crazy um, when I first get back into it, but um, I'm ready to get back into it at least. I like to think that this is an obstacle that it's just another obstacle in in the journey you just have to you know deal with it overcome it and move on to the next thing because life's gonna throw you curveballs but it's a matter of how you react to the situation right so I'm trying to keep a positive outlook trying to take advantage of this free time that I have away from um, work and to focus on building my business um, and focusing on my studies and a couple of other things as well. So with that being said, that's all I've got for y'all today. That's just an update on kind of my recovery process and my process through the hernia repair surgery. Um, like I said, I hope that you guys will like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to continue to follow my journey. And um, I plan on posting more on here and more on my other social media channels as well. So go check me out. Get after it today, no matter what position you're in, what obstacles you face, whatever comes in your way in your life, get after it, deal with whatever you have to deal with, and let's move on, let's get better together. Let's keep focusing on this movement of self-improvement and just demand excellence of yourself. All right, I will see you guys here in a little bit for a final update and kind of a final body composition progress update after the surgery, so. We'll see you guys get after it today.